guys, it's Fung Fung Fan here, and today we're going to be making peanut butter cookies. So let's get started. Okay, some ingredients that we need. So I have the Betty Crocker peanut butter cookie mix, and then I have my veggie oil, my big bowl, and my spatula, my one egg, um, and my cupcake holders some 10 millimeter water and a spoon. So let's get started. Okay, so first off what I did is I literally poured the whole mix inside and it's pretty rough. So we're gonna make it not rough. So we're gonna literally um, go around, make sure all the rough spots are all gone. So I added some three teaspoons of vegetable oil. So right now I'm gonna mix it all together. Okay, so now that we mixed it, we are going to add the 10 millimeters of water into the bowl. And once again, mix it. So, so now that it's all mixed up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one egg into the cookie mix. And then we're gonna mix, mix, mix it all together. So now that it's all mixed, it should look like this. So right now, using our cupcake holders, <laughs> we are going to put it onto the cookie pan. So um, I do not have a like wax paper, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dub these two, I'm gonna put two together, put it on, and just put the cookie mix inside because since I don't have wax paper, it's kind of difficult to really make cookies that way. But this is a really sufficient way to make cookies. So you just put it all through the pan. So right now we are going to preheat our oven. So we're gonna press bake and make it to 375. Fahrenheit degrees. Ta-da, and then press start. Put our oven light on. So now we basically filled the whole tray with our cupcake um, holders, and you guys will see after when the cookies are done why I use the cupcake holders instead. So right now we're gonna put the mix into the cupcake holders. So we're just putting it onto the cupcake holder. Make sure it's not too thick because the cookie will rise and it will expand. So we don't need it to be really super like next level on thick. Just put a small little patch and we're good. So we just put it in. So this is what it looks like after it's been put on the cookie pan and we're just waiting literally waiting okay so the timing is perfect so now we put the cookie inside so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna put our timer for 15 minutes and I'm gonna press start boom 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 so this is what it looks like the finishing product although it doesn't look like a cookie we're gonna take it out of these cupcake um, holders and then we're gonna let it harden Okay, so although these do not look like cookies, um, they're really thick, they're soft, they're moist. Um, these are my versions of a cookie um, because I like to use cupcake holders because it makes it more round, I guess. Other people choose to use cookie cutters, etc., but um, I don't really use those. I just use cupcake holders because they're easier, and plus you get to get your cupcake holder shape on the side so it looks extra fancy. So when you're making like treats for guests, I, this would be ideal. It would look really nice. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys want thinner cookies, you can definitely not use these cookie sheets. These uh, cupcake sheets, you can definitely go for um, wax paper to make it thinner, smaller, etc. Um, these suggestions are just mine. You guys can use whatever you like. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!